Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Anelisa Mshongo. So today is like a chit chat video where I just tell you guys, I just want to tell you all about my career, uh, what it is, where to work, how much you can get paid, how to qualify to become a software developer, and what kind of personality is needed in this job. So I hope that you enjoy this video. So I just didn't want to, it to be like a chit chat video where I just talk. I decided, let me just add a little bit of relaxing of my hair. You know, guys, as a mom, taking care of yourself just feels like a reward it feels like a bonus so i had to give myself a bonus of taking care of myself and my hair and i'm so bad with taking care of my hair so i'm just gonna relax my hair and hopefully and pray that i take care of this hair until i do a treatment so guys stay tuned to my video and make sure that you subscribe to my channel if it's your first time on this channel and make sure that you like the video and comment down below i'm sure after listening to this lengthy video which i pray it does come through with so much information i hope you have questions to ask ask them to be relaxing my hair while i tell you all about my career i can't wait i'm so excited of this video because I, I really sat down and I did a bit of preparations. Guys, now I can't prepare. Like if I prepare to do something, it normally doesn't happen or something happens and I can't do that video. And also, I, yeah, and also I, I, I just felt like it was, it was delaying and I, wasn't, um, and I wasn't doing it. So I felt like, you know what, let me just do it let me do it today today is the day you know today is the day that the lord has made the speech i decided let me just relax my hair i bought this um i bought this relaxer it's called olive oil a fully application no lay hair relaxer i bought this one because i felt like this relaxer is the only relaxer i could find like Duncan, I don't know if Duncan Lovely changed the packaging because I saw the white packaging and I thought that one was for kids. But now when I'm walking around the shops, I don't see like the original Duncan Lovely purple box. So it's just this one. So I'll just relax my hair. Guys, to be honest, I do not love my hair. Like, I don't know. I don't understand what, which queen, which level of queen. Queen doesn't love her hair, but I'm the only person. This is my hair. <laughs> this is my hair, guys, and I'm not proud of what I'm doing to my hair. And yeah, guys, I relaxed this hair, and now it's still it's everywhere. It's every everywhere. So, guys, I'm just gonna relax it in a coat. The last time I relaxed, it was when I don't even know. Is it? Maybe it is six months ago. I think that's the last time I relaxed my hair. So my mirror is this side. So when I'm looking this side, I'm looking at my mirror. So if in case you are interested, it comes with the relaxer. I think this one has just a lot of things. It comes with the activator. And there's just a lot. I don't know. Maybe it's me. I love... I love opening up boxes and getting a lot of stuff. You have your gloves, which I don't know. Will I use my gloves? I don't know. Then I have like two shampoos. There's two shampoos. There's a wrap mousse set. And then there's a replenishing conditioner. And then there is a hair lotion. So this has got a lot of stuff and then I don't know why they did this and then they have this for mixing your relaxer and then they also have like the instructions inside the box like hey now I have to tear this box I'm to step two I'm so nervous to start this I'm so nervous because I feel like maybe I'm just going to be saying like 
things like giving information that's not enough but yeah i did try i did try so i feel like this is an interview i feel like it, it's sort of like an interview because i'm nervous i'm like oh i'm so nervous so my name you guys know my name so my name is Annelisa Mklogo I'm a QA analyst and means it's a quality assurance analyst so we take care of the quality and so I have um, more than five years in the IT industry and I've got two years and some few months as a QA analyst yeah so in layman's terms um, a, a quality assurance analyst is a software tester so uh i currently work in the retail industry so i work in retail i've never worked anywhere else as a qa i worked as a dev in the what was it in the telecommunications environment but now I work in retail. I've been a QA analyst in the retail. So I'm sure that everyone is asking themselves, like really, what is a software tester? So a software tester is someone who tests the, you test, because you know, we are software testers. So you test the software that is developed by the developer to see if it's really what the client wanted and is it also good for the user to use it so like if the client for example wants you to build um wants you to build a website for a website to uh, sell clothes ne? so as a qa tester we, we take that information what the client wanted and then the devs are the people that build that application that you are going to see online. And then as a QA, as a QA analyst or as a software tester, what I do is that I test that whatever the client wanted, is it what we are delivering? And also in that process, we are testing, Uzi, is it user friendly? You know, is it something that's usable? So you can't just build anything and put it there and say, yeah, this is what the client wants. And then at the end of the day, when people are trying to buy clothes, they can't even find Uzi, where are these clothes, where's the car, what's happening? If you've ever shopped online, you see Uzi, things are easy for you. So we test that to see what is this user friendly is this a human friendly so i took this uh, i took this description from uh from or chat gpt i took it from chat gpt they say that a software tester is like checking a recipe before a meal is served so when you check the recipe and then we check if this is the correct meal that we are serving so that is what a, a, a QA tester does. We ensure that the program works correctly and is free out of bugs. So that is very important. Like you can now today, you are trying to use that app that I told you, you try to put, maybe you try to put an item in the cart and just 10 items just go into the cart. Or something, or maybe you're trying to check out the checkout button you can't click the checkout button that's what you do as a software tester you just try to ensure that it works as expected and it's free out of issues or any bugs and we make sure that that software is reliable like it has no um issues and we make sure that it is user friendly i think this is the best description that i can give you I don't want this information to be lost. That's why I don't want to be too busy when I'm telling you about this, guys. So, in the testing field, I'll just talk about two types of testers because 
There's a lot of other things that are going on in this world of testing, types of testers and all. But I want to talk about like the types that like are, uh, I don't want to say common, but I think the main two groups. So guys, um, there's e-manual testing and then there's e-automation testing. So when you're talking about e-manual testing, e-manual testing is where you click the application by hand. Like as a human, you come there, you click the application. So as I was saying about that app that I was talking about, so that app that I was talking about, Shoguti, is, um, what is this? It's a shopping app, so buy clothes on that app. As a manual tester, you go there and you act like the user and you click, click, click in every way, making sure that it works correctly and as expected. Good. And then there's, and then there's e-automation tester. So your night automation test that uses other tools, like they are tools that are created to test, you see? So under your automation test that they use those tools and also they can write code to test other applications. So that you can write code, like you can write scripts and code that can act like a human and click other applications. I think if you if you know a lot about um if you know a lot about it and, and you're interested to know about it i'm sure you're going to be to know what's a program and you're gonna know about automation what is automation so automation is just scripts and and code that can um that can operate other softwares you see automated not used by human something like sort of human the human doesn't interact on the testing but okay, both testers are very useful because the manual one is very useful guys you are human at the end of the day and these systems will be used by human so they need your your interaction so they'll need that and then for an automation testing one is mostly for is it as a repetitive level like things that you need to do like multiple times or as as a person you can't be doing things like the same thing all over again you're gonna get bored so if there is something that you have to repeat while you are testing you can just write another script that can do it for you and also if you need like large volumes of testing like if you have yeah, well, something that a human will i don't want to say a human can't do something where a human will be prone to causing errors so that's when which that's when we do automation testing i hope guys this thing so mina I'm a manual tester. <laughs> uh, though I have like a background knowledge, by like yeah, a background experience as a dev, but I'm a manual tester. I, I do test manually. I click click things manually, and yeah, and sometimes I do write automation, but it's just automation like le like as a learning curve. Like it's not something that I. I, I work on each and every day. It's something where maybe if we, because we have to upskill ourselves each and every day, and it's a field that we all want to be part of. This is a world that's moving, it's fast paced. So I don't think someone can just want to be a manual tester for the rest of your lives. Me, not personally, I prefer to be both. I prefer to know e automation, but also I still want to be part of e, e manual testing. I think I do enjoy it. Though I feel sometimes young poor, but I do enjoy it. So I also wrote or I also wrote this one. What I just feel like it's I feel like the part lens or is a bit boring. Like with you 
what do I do on a daily? Like, what do I do on a daily? And you know this thing, what do you do on a daily? It's so complicated, guys. But because the systems are already there, like, the systems are already built where I work, and we don't have to start a system all over again. What we do is that when there is a change, like there's something that they want to change in a system, they'll give it, they put, okay, maybe the site was red, let's change it to blue and make the font larger. And then, I'm just making a dumb example, guys. What we do, Tina, is that whenever there is that change, we write test cases, so we write those steps, so we see how I tested that to see that, yeah, it's working as it was expected, and then I run my tests, like I run them, and then give feedback, we to know this thing is working fine, and I approve for this to go into production. Yeah, then it goes into production. So that's what I do on a daily, sitting meetings, to understand I'm a system, I sit with developers to show them the issues that you found on the systems, try to enjoy about give feedback to what you think when and also as a tester guy, you're not just a robot, you're also a human, you're part of a team, and we just give each other advice and help each other. Well, like we work at the end of the day. I mean, what I learned with testing, which was something that I, mean, I used to misunderstand when I was a dev, I felt like testers were out there to get us, you know, like to see what's high when I'm not good enough, what I want. But what I learned now is that even when you're a tester, now you want your work to be done, you want to, you hold people to post Christmas. So you can't be out there to get someone, why? As a team, we want to finish, we want to have something done, and we want to, you know, submit. Kind of submit, just go in land, okay? Get the Uze Usabatage like your group members. Why? Why do you sabotage your group members? So, also, like they're testing the ganja. But, yeah, you can see what devs do get pissed off because maybe they've got like a lot of work that they are doing and they feel like when. Well, the things all show you are unnecessary. They also tell you that it was working two minutes ago, but now it's not working. I don't know whose fault is that, but yeah, it's, I think at the end of the day, it's our fault as testers, because it was working two minutes ago, now it's not working. And, and also this job is a job that needs you to, you guys, it needs you to be someone who, who can give the go ahead. Jabo, umdo good with decision making. Umdo who can take the fall because Pella, once things fall, the testers are gonna be asked, what did you guys test? Why go? What happened now? But yeah, guys, as a team, everywhere we try to work as a team. Each and everything is about the team, like. We're a team at the look. What personality is needed in this job? Like, what kind of personality do you have to be out there? Or in? <laughs> do you have to be out there? Now, guys, I'm, a, I'm an introvert. I'm such a. Am I an introvert? Hmm. I don't, yeah, I think I am an introvert. I'm such a. I'm such a quiet person when I work. I think it does even go. But I'm an introvert or an extrovert at work. Now, I am someone who is quiet at work, which I think it doesn't help me with anything, but I am a quiet person at work. And I'm, and I'm trying to unlearn that. But again, yeah, let's, let's give the personality of a tester, besides talking about myself. <laughs> let's give a personality of a tester. A tester should be someone who is, has attention to detail, it's obvious. You are very precise, you, are you give attention to detail. No one is perfect, but guys, as a tester, you should be close to perfection. Cause when I do tell talks about this thing, so someone who always looking to see the right and the wrong, 
like yeah, but you have to question a lot so you have to be like that you must have analytic skills i don't think there's any job in this world that doesn't need analytic skills you have to have to analyze things analyze the system analyze your way of working yeah how are you going to test this how much time is needed? Like you need to analyze the club and you can't not have analytic skills. Even if you can, we can say, Uguchi, you're going to work in, um, even if we're going to say, your silence are not a garden, you need to strategize. Like you have to be good with that. You must be someone who's good with problem solving. Worst of all, eh, you're in the IT industry. Problem solving, Jay, first on the list. You guys, these combs are so. <laughs> I've combed with all of them, but this thing it doesn't. Yo, I don't yes, Should I just let it be and not comb it? Or should I comb it? <laughs> so, okay, guys, I've applied some conditioner on my hair, and my face looks so dry. Because I was washing my hair, so my face looks dry. That's why it's dry. But I just wanted to continue from um, where I left off. So I was talking about what kind of personality should you have, like as a tester. And um, the uh, it was problem solving skills. As I said, everyone needs problem solving skills in any job. You need problem solving skills. You have to be able to look at something and see what this is how I can approach it or whatever this is how it should be done you have to have uh, my problem solving skills and then also after i've explained with you what is software testing you can see that it has a lot of communication happening you have to listen you have to ask the right questions you have to report things to people so you must have like good communication skills verbal communication skills are number one which I feel like personally, that's what I like at work. I don't know why I like those kind of um, points, but I feel like I'm someone who can't explain things. Like I can't explain things to save my life or I'm someone who doesn't like to get prepared so that when I have to explain something, I'm prepared. Like I think that is the issue and I should work on that, like work on preparing. Like if maybe I'm going to go on to a meeting where I have to report something, I have to write it down and be prepared. And also writing skills, you have to be able to write. You have to be able to write things, document things. But now guys, like you don't need like to have the perfect English or the perfect word right? because there's a lot of technology out there to help you but you must be someone who's ready to read documentation and write documents like you must be that kind of person be able to explain here we write documents to explain how to use a system you see t you write steps and tell them step one i clicked here step two and then i got this step three this is what we're looking for you see you write documents that are so detailed so you need to have writing skills time management i think time management is everything like you are always at the end of everything like at the project you are like the end of that certain task so that it can go through to somewhere else so you have to be someone who's good with time management you have to be on your a game um you have to make sure that if something you said you're going to do it in two days you do it in one and a half day that's the type of job that you are looking for you have to be on your a game with time each and any job guys needs time management you have to know how to manage your time in that job this task is what i'm going to be doing this is what i'll be doing this is the time that i need a game a game on the time you must be someone who can easily adapt you can adapt things are changing you have to change with things you have to easily adapt to things like you can't be someone who who says i don't like change you know <laughs> though we always feel like that i don't want to change i want to work in the same department and you test the same thing all over again because it feels nicer to be in a platform where you understand everything and you can like work on that particular thing but you have to be able to adapt and change things are changing one day they can move you and ask you to do something else and you have to get there get in there and work 
and then it, and that's also what happens in the IT industry it's all about adaptation new things are coming in you have to learn if you don't you get left behind and you must be someone who's very curious and very cautious yeah it's obvious you must be very cautious like you have to be very cautious you have to know this is the right this is the wrong this you look there what is that what does that look why does that look wrong like is this right what's happening about you must be someone who's like that curious 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 in the it industry you must be someone who's so so curious you can't be um, lazy man can't be lazy they're gonna see will be lazy be lazy you have to be curious guys so yeah curiosity and patience do you need to become a software tester i think the minimum qualification that i've seen is a grade 12 that's the minimum i've seen but a grade 12 with something else like okay that's that's a minimum requirement i've seen but mina to be honest if i talk about us um as black people, let me be honest, Tina, we're not exposed to technology that much. We don't know anything about technology until we go and study to, uh, 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 study IT. Mina, at the age of um, Mina, at the age of eighteen, nineteen, I didn't even know that there was something called software development where people write code. I never knew what the application itself is written by someone. I thought maybe I download, but like I don't know, like I've never thought of that until i started studying and being enlightened so i would suggest mina if you're a young person who's still in matric or who still has time to go and study something just go and study uh, a degree in computer science if you are capable to study that or do a diploma in information systems do something that is going to equip you for the it industry course guys any industry in this world need you have to have some back like like somewhere you can't just come here and and yeah because it will need you to work 10 times more than people who already have that so if you can have it then why not like why not like why not so you can study that you need uh you need a software development course that you've done and uh like for us as people of color let me say we need to have degrees because i don't think there's people that are going to trust us saying i've got a grade 12 and i can do this we need to is this that a thing now i studied a postgraduate diploma in uh in ict and i specialized in software development that's what i did and then um if you've already got like something maybe you got another diploma or you've done something else and you, you you need like you need like a certification you can try what you when this is a certificate to become a qualified tester it's called an istqb that's a certificate now i need that certificate if i had th this nh i should have had that certificate long long time ago but that's one of the certificates that you need it's called istqb which is called international software testing qualification it's called board yes ding in papers but i care i know i've got the knowledge of being a tester they will they will uh, give you a chance and it's also a preference if you have it like if you have that certificate the sky is the limit baba the sky is the limit that's what i know and also you have experience in maybe if you have experience in like user interface with system or you have like support experience it can even give you a platform in which you can come into testing you have it development skills you can develop you can come in also because i told you it's it testing it divided into two there's e-manual and then there is e-automation and even if you are an automation um tester you have to understand what it takes to be a tester like what do you need to see as a tester before you write that code of yours then guys let's talk about islala like 
Annalisa, get to it. Get to it. Will I be rich enough? Like, will I take over the world? <laughs> Guys, in life, you can never be rich with a 9 to 5 job. Let's, let's get it out there. You will never be rich with a 9 to 5 job. But it pays reasonably. Like, you can be a middle class person as a, as a software tester. Yeah. You can buy a car, a house, a flat, have kids. <laughs> no, you can't have those things, even if you're not this much. Yeah. But I did a research and it goes like this. For an entry level, so entry level into testing, 16,000 to 29,000. And if you are middle, middle, like if you have like one entry, means that you don't have experience or you have like one year experience like uh, you don't have enough experience in the IT industry and also in JWS figure you're going to get paid from 16000 to 29000 and if you are middle which means that you already have like a lot of experience over 3 plus years of experience then you can be paid 29000 to 50000 and then if you will have like a senior experience, like we've been working for the past 10 plus years, people have like experience and they also like lead, um, lead testers, like uh, QA managers, all those kind of people, then you can be paid like 50,000 to 75,000. This is what Google said. And I think so. I think it, it, it is like the honest truth. But as all, like as we know, if you are in the private sector, you can negotiate your own salary and tell them your worth. Like if I want to say my worth is one million and they understand yeah, my worth can be one million. You never know. But what, what I also saw in is that it also salaries also vary like they vary in cities like where are you working so the most paying cities is johannesburg and cape town those are the most paying cities if you you want to be paid a lot of money you have to work there so durban and pretoria are the least and then uh then like small towns i've seen a post in bloomfontein and the money was not looking good so you have to gun for the big cities uh, I won't say gun for the big companies. In IT, it's not about how big the company is. It's just how much knowledge do you have and is your skill really needed in what you are looking for? Then you can, guys. And also, it's a job where you can also work for yourself. You can work um, part-time. There's online things that you can do part-time. You can also opt to work uh, international. It's a job where you can work international because it you can also work remote. Like you can work at home. Like me, I work remote. I don't work on site. But also you, you work on site as a, as a QA analyst. There are systems where you can't test them from home or companies do not want to expose those systems in that way. And you have to go and work at the office. Hybrid in cases where you are needed at the, at the office you can go to the office and then there's cases where you can be at home so both like hybrid before covid we used to work sort of like hybrid man because you could like say, tell people that you know today i'm working from home ne? and then but you go to the office most of the time and yeah if you want to work at the office you can find jobs where you can work full time at the office always there at the office no one cares so guys i think that is enough information like i feel like it's information overload like i'm telling you so much and i and i hope and pray with this 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 information about yeah it's understandable but I, i'm when i edit i think i'm gonna look at it like as umdo on the other side and if it's not good and then i just cut it off so guys let me go wash my hair So we are coming here
with a force, yeah. Blessing the a reaper with poison and food. Oh, in a rise and boast. Yeah, we give thanks that we need it the most. We have to give thanks that we really supposed to be thankful. Blessing the heart from the night. So guys, this is the final product. This is my hair. Martin could take out guys, but that's what I was looking for because I normally wear my hairband wigs. So this will be much cleaner with relaxed hair. So the hair, and I also love how my hair feels. Yeah, I like it. And I hope guys, I do wear like a, a thing when I sleep and when I go into the shower, I shower with the shower cap so that it doesn't get ruined. But my experience with the relaxer, 10 out of 10. I love the relaxer. And because, I mean, I think I've got like um, sensitive skin, a sensitive, a sensitive scalp. And like I was able to stay a bit longer with that relaxer and it didn't burn my scalp. Like I didn't feel like I've got sores. Maybe tomorrow okay, I'll have sores. But today I don't feel like I've got sores. And my, my hair is feeling like textured in Jigashi and I really really think it looks nice then guys near born come to the end of this video please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and make sure that you like this video and comment down below thank you so much and bye